What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by a recovered sick boy, Wes. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's me. I'm uh, better. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, and our actual lawyer, <laughs> Bridge. Good evening. <laughs> Uh, folks, if you like this show, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. If not, no worries. It goes up as an edited VOD the very following Monday and Tuesday. And hey, if you'd like to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save data team. Throw us a buck there. We'd very much appreciate it. But folks, but folks, but folks, let's get into the game. Man, I heard that song again, and I yeah, was like, please don't tell me it just restarted the entire game. <sighs> How did I get into this mess? I mean, this seems like the opening, right? Yeah, this is... this is. You can't run forever. Yeah, this is this the opening. Is right. This is the beginning. Zach, did you fuck it up? Zach, what have you done? What, what have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. <sighs> But, I'm big and scary. But I'm, but I'm just a simple defense Silence. attorney. Prepare for my laser eyes. <laughs> exactly. This is the beginning of the game. Uh, exactly. What have you done? Wait, but is it for real? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, hey, setting no, us it's up. not. God, fuck they this fucking, game. They, they set you I've up. I've had this dream before <laughs> sometime. As if this day was written into my destiny. Today I'll stand in court. As a lawyer, fuck the game for doing that. By the way, to prove a kill to me in this moment as a Twitch streamer, to prove a killer innocent. Today I'll be going up against giant judge, scholar of the first sin, judge. Judge with <laughs> laser eyes. Oh, I guess. Phone ellipses. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> this is Phoenix Wright. You don't look so well, dude. Wait, I, can you see me? <laughs> I am the God phone damn it. now. He got me. <laughs> You're going to prove me not guilty today, right? Ellipses. Oh, whoa, whoa, fuck it. Put your, put your hair down on guard. Everybody's going to see you. Everybody's going to know you're a villain. You Everybody's like going to know you're a villain with your chalky milk and your eye scars. Yeah, goddamn. What, what are you doing? Holy shit, when did Matt and Gar get those scars and that evil scowl? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, the bailiffs are just going to be like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, well, this guy totally did it. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, shit. Uh, wait. Oh, it's me. I'm still kind of a dumb himbo. Uh. <laughs> no, I totally saw that chalky milk. Get in here. We're going to smack only, you, Only villains drink chalky milk. <laughs> if you please, Mr. Lawyer. Remember, it's not just me. Your precious friend's life is riding on today's verdict, too. Wait, did Madame Gart kidnap someone? Uh, uh wait. Uh, ch ch I mean... We're calling a mistrial. <laughs> Listen up. You better get on guard a guilty sentence, okay? If you get that creepy slime bag and not guilty, I'll never forgive you, ever. I, uh... Phoenix! Phoenix! God damn it. M Mia! Maya! How's Maya? I don't know. <laughs> You don't know? No. And you know what? I don't appreciate the tone, Phoenix. <laughs> she hasn't tried to channel me since yesterday. Mia. Yeah. What... What am I supposed to do? Well, like I said... I don't know. For a lawyer... <laughs> I don't know. For a lawyer, the worst of times are when you have to force your biggest smiles. Now let's see you force a big old smile, Phoenix. I hate that quote. Yeah, it's, it's not a good like, quote. Like, why does it like doctors working at a children's hospital? Like, yeah. our goal is not to oh. be like happy and cheer people up. Yeah. The stupidest Yo, okay. quote ever. Uh, but you can't give up. There's still some hope left. 
Not a lot. I mean, you've kind of... Stop it! Please! Up, up until now. There's nothing left. Not here. Not anywhere. Jesus, is so nihilistic, Phoenix. I know, dude. Nihil nihil nihilism, Phoenix. Phoenix, take off uh, your leather jacket and take off your eyeshadow, dude. Is that a cursed on guard again? Via cursed on guard. Will you leave me alone? Look, don't call me anymore. I, I mean it. It's the eyes now. Yeah. Not guard. You're really mean, pal. <laughs> uh, Gumshoe, I, I'm really, really sorry. Where are you? <laughs> they let me join the investigation team and we're chasing after the killer, pal. Uh, then... Also, I think you should apologize. I, I did, twice. Then... I did. We are I literally in a shootout for. with a guard right now, pal. <laughs> then you have, you have some sort of lead. Sorry, but right now we've got zero leads on the guy. Then why the fuck did you call me? But we're not gonna give up yet. Gumshoe. Until the trial is over. Until the verdict is handed down. I gotta do everything we can and find the killer. If you can get my out, then you can get on guard the guilty verdict he deserves, pal. That's true. I could do that if they found Maya first. Well, technically you can't. You got that? Technically, you can't act. You have the defense attorney can't really get a guilty verdict. <laughs> you could guilty represent him really yet. badly, but then he'd but then he'd get a retrial for ineffective assistance of counsel. So, uh. really, you, you actually can't do anything except try and get him found not guilty. Yeah. You got that? Or, or you drop the case. whatever you can to make the trial last longer. I have to make the trial last longer. I've never done that before. Damn. If you go at Mr. Edgeworth with everything you've got, then you two can draw it out. Oh, now I get it. Did you not get it before? It was really clear. He wants me to cheese it. I believe in you, pal. You and Mr. Edgeworth can do it. So, believe in us. We're gonna give it all we've got, just like you. That's a bio. Got it. Thanks, Gumshoe. <laughs> Deep. Hey, Phoenix. You understand now, don't you? You have something money will never be able to buy. Friendship. What <laughs> fucking anime ass? Like, <laughs> you know what? I don't even like Mia anymore. There, I said Quick. it. Mia, your weird smiley Disney face Channel on her ass hand. bullshit is not helping right now. Mia, do you want to write a draw a circle, a smiley face on the backs of our hands? <laughs> we gonna get the power of the cards with the friendship. Hi. I'm Mia Fey, and you're watching the Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs>the strongest weapon of the world and you have it in abundance. Maya, yeah. I get that we're I get that we're the comma, but come on. Yeah. Looks like we're coming to the end. I have to make the trial last as long as I can. Come she will come through, I know it. Pretty bold of you to assume that. Oh Phoenix, that was a uh, <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> okay. Court is now in session for the trial of Matt on guard. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. Ed Edgeworth, fuck off. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but uh, Wes was apparently fixing his microphone, and uh, it took a little bit of time. So we've been, <laughs> we've been waiting to get this thing going, okay? Mystery being, what exactly was Miss Adrian Andrews' role in this murder? That is to say, is she really connected to the crime itself? I'm going to have to go out and live and say no, because uh, she's too damn fine to have committed <laughs> murder. Who's with me, huh? <laughs> Who's ready to go home? Mr. Edgeworth, if you would please inform the court of today's proceedings. Because uh, I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> Adrian Andrews. She forged evidence that threw suspicion onto Mr. On Guard. And then proceeded to escape the crime scene by wearing a nickel samurai costume. The guilt of these actions are those from which she cannot escape. And she should burn for it. 
Hmm. Then you're saying that she's guilty after all. I'm not finished, Your Honor. Let me tell you what exactly I think we should do to this woman. <laughs> Sandrews has nothing to do with committing the actual murder. Huh? I would like to direct the court's attention to this card. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. Shit! <laughs> what is that? It looks like a shell. This is the calling card of a certain ass assin. Ass assin, you say? I love the idea of an actual court case. Like, I didn't know what a prosecutor being like. By the way, I think a professional assassin did this. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't brought this up with any, with the judge or the or my or the other side. This is a even, surprise to everyone in the room yeah, right now. I informed no one of this, but I'm completely changing my prosecution strategy. I don't even give a shit about the defendant anymore. I think an assassin did it. <laughs> And he's coming for all of us. He's coming for you and you. Everybody panic. Yes. All Karina was killed by a professional assassin. And the person who hired the assassin, his client, so to speak, is Matt on guard. <laughs> what a surprising <laughs> turn of events. <laughs> I would think it's become commonplace by now, Your Honor. I know what's going on this time. So I know that everything Edgeworth has said is true. But we still have to hold out as long as we can. At least until Maya is safe and sound. I wonder how the trial will turn out today. What? I mean, hopefully good, Yeah, Phoenix. what a... Yeah, That's okay. what I'd really hope for, huh? Yeah. My sister might die. <laughs> Maybe you could feel a little bit more, you know... Uh... Yeah, I don't like this whole, like, oh, I wonder how it's going to go. No, <laughs> like, say it's going to go well. Yeah. I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> I know I'm already in my, dead, in my but I'd like for my sister body. to not join me. She's annoying as shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to become, like, a weird two-headed homunculus creature whenever we're channeled wait is that what, that <laughs> is that what you think would happen if they both died yeah no they'd be they'd be like both of their faces on the same face but they'd be kind of like oh. disfiggered and like oh, jesus christ okay it'd be terrifying <laughs> now then please call your first witness mr edgeworth the prosecution calls the defendant's mentor Mr. Will Powers to the stand. Wait, they're saying that Will Powers was like helping out on guard. Yeah, yeah. that's really funny. What at no at no point was it ever mentioned that Will Powers was Matt on guard's mentor? No, no, I think this that's is that's implying like a funny... that Will Powers is the actual mastermind behind this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. He turns out he has an evil sprite too, and he's just like, yeah. it was me. <laughs> It was me the whole time, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Fucking got you. <laughs> See, I told you I am an Australian. It's in me blood <laughs> to be a criminal. It was a prison island, Mr. Wright. <laughs> um, once again, all of our Australian viewers have left. <laughs> ah, dang, there goes all two viewers. <laughs> we love you, though. Our, I love all of our Australian viewers, though. <laughs> I fucking call out all of them every time they post anything. <laughs> <laughs> now then, witness. I'll name an occupation, please. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, Will Powers. I'm a poor, <laughs> underpaid action star. Okay. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, boo-hoo. And I'm a poor, underpaid prosecutor. Ugh. And what is your relation to the defendant? Well, that's, I guess I'm sort of a lousy mentor to him in a way, yeah. Are you? Uh, Mr. Powers, please, you don't need to put yourself down so much. <laughs> You're really bumming me out here. Oh, sorry. Well, but <laughs> I'm just kind of a nothing sort of guy. Uh, on the night of the murder, you visited the defendant's room. Is this correct? Well, I wouldn't really know anything about that because I'm so stupid. But, uh, <laughs> yes. 
I didn't know that. Oh, well, that's all right, Mr. Wright. You know, you're so smart. You probably didn't know because I didn't tell you because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, But, you know... I was there I because I was I... killing him. <laughs> I didn't actually get to see Matt when I went. All you need to do is answer what you're asked. Oh, sorry. I really goobered it up this time, <laughs> didn't I? God damn it. Now then, I would like you to please testify about when you went to Mr. Rungard's room. Okay, sure. After the awards ceremony, I went by myself to Matt's room. Matt was standing there in front of his room, still in his nickel samurai costume. Talking to a weird man with a zipper face. Talking to Shelly the killer. Oh, shoot. I mean, uh, talking to some guy that I've never known or talked to before. <laughs> talking, or hired. talking to the guy who kidnapped Mr. Wright's assistant. <laughs> he was talking with someone. At first, I thought it was the billboy. I watched the two of them for a while, but then I gave up and went back. Why did you watch them like a weirdo? Why didn't you just walk <laughs> up and say hi? Well, I guess that's because I am a freaking weirdo, Mr. Wright. You, you hit the nail on the head with uh, that one. I mean, this is still... You could have just been like, Hey, Matt, have a good show. Bye. Fucking weirdo. Ooh, Will Powers had guests. <laughs> It was yeah, us. that's weird. We haven't seen him. We haven't <laughs> seen him this whole time, so I don't know what guess he's talking <laughs> yeah. about. I guess with me that night, and I couldn't make him wait for me. <laughs> They're so nice. They notice me all the time. <laughs> hmm. Nothing sounds out of place in Mr. Powers' testimony. And talking with the bellboy is no big deal. <laughs> if one assumes that the person Mr. Rungard was speaking to was an ordinary bellboy... What are you implying? That bellboy had that superpowers. Boy, that bellboy was an isekai protagonist. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, let's have your cross-examination, shall we? Looks like we're in another sticky situation. Huh? It's a trap. Can't you smell it, Phoenix? Can't you smell the delicious trap? For us to find out more, we're just going to have to charge in head first, right? That's how you disarm traps, is to just <laughs> put your head into them. Uh, Once the bear trap snaps on your leg and you take it off, it's not a trap anymore. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, you've disarmed the trap you successfully. <laughs> God damn it. Aaron like chewed a bit saying, Punky got two out of five puns last week and he didn't deny the rules applying. He might be dead. That's a good question. It was a different game. I don't know, y'all. You just said the will your chance to say punk. Did the witch your say chance to say punk died? Uh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Punky's dead, folks. Uh, <laughs> Zach only. We're never doing this bit again. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you damn. You had it out, Zach. Take it. Uh, free yourself from this burden. <laughs> free myself from this fleshy prison uh just in case chewed a bit saying i'm sorry west but my mom makes fun of your aussie accent <laughs> <God damn. laughs> uh, no don't do it following don't up with that fun of me shit angel i'll show 100 bits saying the australian viewers left because you butchered the accent <laughs> god damn <laughs> <laughs> uh Val Judel's tier three bit saying unrelated question, but when is all your birthdays? Uh Giant Penguin did answer that, except for Wes's, which I actually don't know off the top of my head. When is your <clears throat> uh Oh wait, let me let me uh rack my brain really hard about what the correct answer is, just in case you guys uh oh, okay. need some hints. Well while you do that, Victor Foxy Gamer also cheered twenty bit twenty dollars saying this 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 goes to the funds to revive punky let's bring back another dead bit that it should not have lived for two years but will god damn it i was gonna say thank you Vic. we're gonna the, the next the next stream goal needs to be punky revive revival fun jesus christ <laughs> That's um, gonna be the next stream maybe goal. The time, maybe money. the only time maybe the only time zach doesn't want to reach a donation yeah. goal <laughs> it's punky been 50 Kai minutes did. and we're in the first testimony yeah, yeah. uh all right, I think I think we're gonna press most of this. I don't know if there was something that like stood out particularly well in here. I mean, I, I have no idea. I I can't imagine anything you said was a lie. Yeah. 
The defendant's room? <coughs> How did you go there? Well, I'm his mentor. Like a big brother, sort of. And I wanted to say congrats. 1984. Uh, what's wrong? How did you stop? M Mr. Wright! What is it? You... You're gonna try to trick me into a corner, aren't you? Uh-huh. I, I know I'm just a poor, underpaid action star, but... Honestly, Will, now I do want to do that. I hate you. But you can't be I, a bit of a bitch. I'm not the killer. Um, no one said you were, Mr. Powers. Oh, please, don't trick me. Every time you do your lawyer thing, the witness suddenly turns into the bad guy. Every time? Witness... I will personally talk to the defense at a later time. God damn it. But for now, please kindly cooperate and continue with your testimony. S sorry. So, you went to the defendant's room, and then... Hey, wait a minute. When and how did I suddenly turn into the bad guy here? <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, someone under the account named Punky Revival Fund just donated $5. <laughs> Just a <laughs> saying, just a small sum of money can bring life to Punky. Donate today. <laughs> Thank you for that. Whoever did that, that was very good. Yeah, Punky's hospital bill. Let me just say this right now. Punky's <laughs> hospital bills, they're staggering. Yeah. You don't want to see Necromancers are Punky. so much more expensive than they used to be. You don't want to see the amount of zeros on the Necromancer bill. Punky was a, a Twitch streamer. He did not have health insurance, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Listen, w witch curses aren't deductible. Yeah, no. <laughs> that really bumps up your monthly premiums. So the problem was, uh, Punky just could not find a necromancer in, in his uh, network plan. Right, right. I had to go outside. Yeah, I had to go outside of his plan. That just jacks up the price That's so much. So much. <laughs> Are you sure that was Man on Guard? Yeah, I'm sure. I wasn't wearing the Nickel Samurai mask then. I'm not wearing the old bag. I wouldn't assume that someone's that someone in a costume automatically means to the person who normally wears that costume. <laughs> I may be a stupid, idiot, untalented, underpaid actor, <laughs> but I'm not wearing the old bag. <laughs> uh, if that's the case, then he really can't be mistaken. And what was the defendant doing, standing in front of his own room? Oh my god, Punky Revival Fund just tipped 30 more dollars saying not Val, but for the same purpose. Oh, <laughs> y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, he thought it was this guy? Well, that rings a bell. There we go. That's one, everybody. How about that? Because it's the bell boy. <laughs> Boom. Got him. Punky's coming back to life. The, the post-mortem puns. Let, let, the, let, let, let the legend come back to life. No, let the legend die. At first? What do you mean by that? Well, he was in a bellboyish uniform and he had a bottle of juice on a tray. Sounds like an ordinary bellboy to me. Uh, yeah, but... Then he started talking about how he was kidnapping someone and <laughs> how he was going to murder Juan Carita later. And and I thought that, wow, that's a weird service for a hotel to have. I don't think the boys do that. <laughs> I didn't think he was a normal bellboy. And why was that? Well, for starters, he had a fucking zipper down his face. <laughs> um, why did I think that, Mr. Wright? Also, he said his name was Shelly the Killer, not Shelly the Bellboy. How am I supposed to uh, know? Sorry, but I can't remember right now. Sorry. What? I guess I'm going to have to wait patiently on this one. <laughs> you saw the two of them, the Bellboy and the Defendant, together, correct? Yeah. The billboy just wanted to say congrats. Now, 
while you were watching the two of them, did you notice anything strange? Um, you know, I did feel something weird. I think it was because Matt, well, he gave the bellboy a tip. A tip? But that's a perfectly normal thing to do. So, how long did you watch the two of them? I like a weird, like a freaking weirdo. <laughs> uh, not more than a minute or two, I think. So, who are these guests you're talking about? You guys, of course. You and Maya and Little Pearl. You remember your all the times that your, we hung out your together? Your sister? <laughs> remember when we discovered the body together and we went and got the, the we heard from Gumshoe about the bear? God, and you know, speaking of Maya, device. I haven't seen her in a while. Where is Maya? <laughs> She's been kidnapped by that bellboy, has she? Because <laughs> for some reason, I think that might have happened. Yeah. I thought it would be really rude since I invited you guys if I disappeared on you. So I went back to my seat pretty soon after seeing Matt in the hallway. This is like squeezing water from a stone. It's probably pointless to press any further. Do you remember this incident? <laughs> Mr. Powers leave his seat that night? I don't remember that happening at all. In fact, I don't remember seeing Will Powers at all that night. <laughs> Also, who the fuck is Will Powers? <laughs> <laughs> I met this guy before? Maya was making such a racket in her hyper state. I ended up focusing her on hyper her. Hyper state. Hyper state. <laughs> Maya has entered her hyper state. Oh, shit. See. Any case, from his story, he probably wasn't gone for very long. If Maya has five burgers in one evening, she enters the hyper state. <laughs> Uh, okay, shit. Well, there was a thing we're supposed to object to on this. Um... No, there's not. Oh, really? Uh, go, go back to... I think it's this Go one. back and press on... Oh, yeah. The, yeah, it's this the one. The tip. Yeah. Okay. Uh... I think this is it, right? Yeah. How am I supposed to know? Because I can't fast forward through this. Hey, wait a yeah, sec. Yeah, hey, wait a sec. Actually, Mr. Powers, only a few minutes ago, you stated... Um, you know, I did feel something weird. I think it was because Matt really gave the bellboy a tip. Could it be that you felt something strange about the tip-giving incident itself? Ah! Yeah, that's it! You really know your job. Matt's an asshole, and he would never give a tip. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor? This bellboy, he wasn't an ordinary one, was he? <laughs> I really don't fucking know. <laughs> Perhaps we should let the witness tell us. Very well. Mr. Powers, please amend your testimony. You mean about the billboy, right? Gave the billboy a tip. Wow. Huge. Fucking excellent. huge news. Absolutely excellent. Wow. Stop stop the fucking presses, everybody. Best witness of the year. What did I say, Zach? I said stop the presses, and you press. <laughs> I was you know what, that's a really good pun, actually. Uh, hey, I am I am son of Punky. <laughs> no. uh, son Punky too, son of Punky. <laughs> so he gave the bellboy a tip. What's so strange about that? Uh, well, you see, Matt's not a poor penny pincher like me. I hate you so much. I was trying to figure out how much it was because the tip really shocked me. How much it was? But that's when something even more surprising happened. Bellboy was putting the tip he got in his pocket, and that's when I got my first good look at the guy's face. I was really shocked. He was beautiful. <laughs> hmm, I'm afraid I don't follow at all. 
It sounds like Mr. Powers was surprised twice by this event. I wonder which of his shocking moments I should ask about. Uh, probably. I'm more. I'm actually. I mean, I know the, obviously the first one's gonna be a zipper face. Yeah. I'm more curious about it. I'm assuming it was a giant tip. You know what? We'll just we'll just do this. Save ourselves some time here. The defendant is a huge star. He can afford to give generous tips, wouldn't you agree? Um, sure. But giving him that much was maybe a little too much, I think. A little too much? Would you please clarify for the court about how much would you say the defendant gave to the bellboy? I'd say about Honestly, the exact amount it cost to hire a hitman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I have a frame of reference, but that's what I thought of. <laughs> yeah. I can't even begin to guess. And why is that? Because I've never because seen money the... before. Because he gave the bellboy his credit card. Because he gave the bellboy a really, really fat roll of cash. A roll of cash? <laughs> what? Like... He gave the bellboy a really fat blunt. <laughs> And then oh, they just blaze it together. And he said, blaze it, my dog. And he said, 420, blaze it, Mr. Billboy. <laughs> ah, well, how interesting. That certainly was a very generous tip, wasn't it? A very fat roll of cash. That can hardly be called a tip, Your Honor. <laughs> hmm. The judge is beginning to look awfully suspicious of us. What? Why? I don't know what's going on, Mr. Wright, but not giving him that tip makes you look awfully suspicious. I'm incredibly confused. Uh, wait and see. What would we be objecting to? There's nothing I can really object to here. I Thank mean, you, Phoenix. Who can argue that a roll of a fat roll of money isn't odd? Hmm. So supposing that roll of cash was not a tip, then what was it? Payment, Your Honor. Uh. Payment? <laughs> God damn it. Payment for certain services. Wink, no, wink. Oh, no. Oh, I get what's happening for assassination. Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? For the murder of Mr. Juan Carita. Also, somebody under the account name Will Powers Tip just tipped $10, saying huge tip on stream. God damn. <laughs> Thank you, you very know what? much. I actually really like this trend. Please continue to do this. Yeah, yeah it's very good. We're going to add to Twitch's user base exponentially <laughs> from just this channel. <laughs> then, then the bellboy the witness saw. Yes, he was the assassin. So I really no, want to laugh. No like, buts about it. So I really, I really want to laugh. At like y'all guys, obviously you should never hire a hitman to kill someone. Mm. Don't ever do that. <laughs> but, but if you ever find a situation, <laughs> don't pay them in an open hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Like it's obviously good to pay in cash because that's less traceable. But find a more concealed spot to do it. <laughs> well, maybe they thought that the hallway was clear because obviously no one notices Will Powers when he's around. So they like looked around and they're like, well, there's nobody here. And Will Powers is literally standing right next to them. And he's like, oh, guys, what are you doing? What's up? What's up, gamers? <laughs> Hold your horses now. Mr. Edgeworth, you don't have any proof of this, do you? Have I ever been unprepared to support my claims, Your Honor? I can Don't think of... That. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I have here the card Shelley the Killer left at the scene of the crime. Shelley the Killer? He is the person the police's special investigations team has been chasing for ages. Since the dawn of time. I am certain that the person the witness saw was this very assassin... Shelly de Killer. Really? What's wrong, Mr. Powers? 
no, nothing. Something just clicked in my head, and I think I just figured something out. Oh. Actually, I saw that bellboy again later on that night. What? You're going to say something we already know. Mr. Powers, please testify. Tell us what you saw. Yes, sir, right away. This time, I was in that hallway because I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, me too, Will Powers. Me too. And that's when the bellboy I saw earlier came out of the room. Of course, he was covered in blood. Oh, no. When I say room, I mean Juan Carita's room. Now that I think about it, that bellboy did seem kind of out of place. Yeah, so he had to be the assassin. I'm sure of it. I mean... <laughs> Man, I can't yeah. wait to press the phrase, I mean. Uh -huh. I mean. I mean. Thank you very much. That is all we need for now. Mr. Powers, I'm going to let you finish. But uh, <laughs> first of all. Huh? But I'm not done. There's still more. Let us first establish that the bellboy was truly Mr. De Killer. Then we shall see. Hmm. So the bellboy came out of the victim's room. And if that bellboy really was the assassin, then I think the answer is fairly obvious. Could someone tell me what it is, though? Just, <laughs> I want to test you guys to make sure that you're <laughs> keeping up, you know. That would be correct, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, I believe it's your turn to entertain and make us laugh. Oh, fuck you, dude. Dance, monkey, dance. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is no laughing matter. My sister might die. What the fuck, dude? It runs in the family, Mia. <laughs> that seems to be hereditary. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, I really just want to run and press the I mean sentence because it's just funny to me. Yeah, oh, do it. Do it. Double you can run and press that, run and press that. I'm sure of it. Oh, that wasn't part of the thing. Ah, oh, that Aww. sucks. Okay, okay. Ooh. He really is assassin. Yes, but you can't give in yet. If you want to prolong this trial for as long as possible, you're going to have to pull some cheap tricks on this one. Uh, I don't really care. You need to pee. The... I don't really so care about Will Powers having to pee. Yeah. Are you sure it was the same bellboy? Yeah. <laughs> and how could you tell? All the bellboys were the same uniform, after all. Oh, I guess the zipper on the face is part of the uniform, <laughs> idiot. You see, well, he had those stitches on his face. <sighs> I'm sure it was the same guy that was talking with Matt. Hmm... So, which room did the bellboy come out of? Uh, yeah, I guess we can press that. The victim's room, huh? Yeah, the one with all the really pretty flowers and teddy bears. It was Juan's room, all right. Words cannot describe how screwed I am. It's <laughs> a great single <laughs> frame, actually. Damn! <laughs> Damn, Phoenix! <laughs> you think you're screwed now? Just wait till we get home, Phoenix. God damn it. Let's continue with the testimony, shall we? Um, so what exactly was so out of place about him? Right, right, right. Why the insipid grin? Maybe because I have no idea what damaging thing he's going to say next. Um, well, the billboy was empty-handed. Empty-handed? That billboy was one of those room service people, right? Those room service people. But he wasn't pushing a cart and he wasn't holding a tray either call that a little strange too wouldn't you 
Hmm. I agree that it is a bit strange, Mr. Powers. It's really not. But it, but is it really that unusual for a bellboy to be empty-handed? What should I do? Should I let Mr. Powers' testimony slide, or try to pull a fast one? Yeah, pull a fast one. Here comes the bus, the special. Oh shit! There's nothing strange or unusual about an empty-handed bellboy. I'm gonna put a rock in this objection. But there really, really is. There really, really isn't. I feel like we fucked no! up. No. <laughs> if you two are done being school children, bellboys are for room service. There is no reason for them to be empty-handed ever. Edgeworth, if I wanted to be a school child, I would steal your fucking lunch money, you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Your Honor, I ask that the witness's previous statement be supplanted with this new one. Uh, Edgeworth, are you going to do whatever you can to make the bellboy look, bell look suspicious? I see. Uh, very well. This court recognizes and grants the prosecution's request. Mr. Powers, if you could amend your testimony, please. Yes, sir. That's depressing. So, you're saying that it's suspicious for him to be empty-handed? Yeah, really suspicious. I mean, when I first saw that bellboy, I thought he's really suspicious. <laughs> he was holding a tray in his hand. And there was a bottle of juice and a wine glass on it. Juice? What kind of juice was it? Well, let me just say that billboy was dummy thick. Um, I'm pretty sure it was tomato juice. Juicy couture. If we could come up with some re sort of reason as to why he would come out empty-handed. Some sort of proof. Then I think we can dodge the bullet on this one for now. Proof, huh? Sounds like another job for the court record. Oh, okay, we just have to say that he dropped the... That's this is such a dumb this is this is maybe the dumbest objection in the entire game series of like oh yeah bold statement it makes sense for a bellboy to drop off a thing in the like what dogs listen shoot takumi only had like a weekend to make this game remember i get it <laughs> like, again, I, I obviously know this is like again a very unique case but like man this is such a weird like this whole thing with willpower is so weird and like yeah. Momentum stopping. Yeah. As we like argue about completely pointless things. We're we're we're, we're saying it's the, it's the wine glass, right? I, I yeah, think yeah. so. I mean, that's the only thing that a bellboy would have been carrying okay. out of everything on our court Adam. evidence. Mr. Powers. Mr. Powers. Mr. Powers. <laughs> yes. You're easily influenced by other people's words, aren't you? As soon as you heard that the bellboy might have been the killer, you got caught up in believing it must be true. Uh, but isn't he really suspicious? He's got all those stitches and... and... So? A baseball has stitches? What is yeah. that? Do you see lie. baseballs killing people? What? Are you saying all baseballs are suspicious because they have stitches? <laughs> what? What? Did someone Are just like stop? Racist against baseballs, Will Did Powers? someone just like stop Carrie when they wrote this line? The, the are the you baseballist? Thing, the only thing that gets me is that they really put like the hype ass music and the like flash background behind him like uh -huh. I fucking got you dead to rights Will Powers we'll give you the chair for this wow this actually be the stupidest line in the entire game <laughs> baseballs don't kill people people kill people pitchers kill people <laughs> well there's also I mean what about him being empty handed I would like to ask the court to please take a look here. This is the crime scene. There is a wine glass sitting next to Mr. Karita's body. 
The liquid inside this glass is tomato juice. And now, if you would look at what is on top of the table in the lower right corner here. Anybody can clearly see that it is a tray with a bottle of tomato juice on it. I don't know about that. The juice in that bottle looks black. I'd say that looks more like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> the bellboy had just brought this to Mr. Corita's room. He left the tray in the room, which is why he was empty-handed when he left. Uh, but... That would mean that the bellboy had seen and left a dead body in the room. Uh... <laughs> ah, but can you prove that Mr. Corita was already dead at the time? Uh... Mr. Edgeworth... Yes. Also, I like this this my can't this this dynamic of Phoenix being like, Judge, can you prove that he was guilty? The thing that you're very much supposed to be doing in this situation. Uh, I blame you for leading me down this route. Oh hell yeah! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. What is with him? Why is he laughing? Witness, isn't there one more thing you would like to share with us? Is there? The bellboy was empty-handed. Should I say empty hand, Ed? What? What? <laughs> what? What? What, is what? This? what does this mean? You know, there's something really weird about this there's, sentence. There's no difference between those two things, even with quotes around <laughs> hand. <laughs> there's something weird about this sentence, but I can't quite put my fingers on it, you know? Uh... Listen, I don't think that Ezrith has a real handle on this situation, no. if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that I'm was dumb. It... <laughs> <laughs> People in the chat saying I that was a bad pun. Are any of them good? What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one donating to bring Punky back to life, all right? Puns by nature are bad. <laughs> Come on. I recall you had something interesting to say about his hands. Or lack thereof. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, steal no hands or something. <laughs> we find out that Chili the Killer has blade arms. No, he, he, that's he, how he, he kills people. He walked out of the room doing a handstand. <laughs> and Will Powers <laughs> forgot to mention it. He was like, oh, that's pretty fucking oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. He did a really sick handstand. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Huh? What? A billboy. He was wearing gloves. Gloves? That's not that weird for a bellboy, I, don't, I wouldn't think. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pay, okay pitch black leather ones pitch would be weird. Black yeah. leather, pitch black leather ones. All the other bellboys don't wear gloves like that, right? Black that leather gloves. Glove choice. Oh shit, the kind that serial killer that killers wear in movies? <laughs> You're talking about gloves like what are worn by Hitman from Hitman? <laughs> but did they fit? Because if they didn't fit, then you must acquit. I have to I have to acquit. <laughs> if, if they did. The legal precedent says so. <laughs> uh, listen, Fantasy OJ, the case of Fantasy OJ dictates I have to acquit. Oh my god. Why didn't you mention them earlier? Sorry, it slipped my mind. Ugh. Boy, does this make the bellboy look really suspicious. Almost like he was a killer. All right, gotta focus. I can't get lax here. So what if he had gloves? A lot of bellboys wear gloves. Come on, Mr. Wright. The bellboy was wearing black leather ones. So? You're okay, kidding you me. You can't do this You're again. You can't me. do this again. Phoenix. What is going on? Phoenix. So, <gasps> a football is made of leather? Are you saying that all footballs are suspicious <laughs> because what they are made of leather? What is going on with this game? What? <laughs> I, get the joke is, I, I get the joke is that Phoenix yeah. is trying to stall this case out yeah. longer. Uh, He's yeah. probably intentionally saying dumb shit, but like... This is so stupid. This is this is like the fucking the Chewbacca defense Listen. from South Park. That one episode of South Park. This is Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca is a Wookiee from the planet Kishi. Are you saying that all footballs are suspicious because they are made of leather? Greatest attorney. Uh, zero losses. Zero losses this man. Zero losses, everyone. Yep.
But that man, he received a large roll of cash from the defendant. And then he was seen leaving the crime scene wearing black leather gloves. I don't think that even someone like myself can believe he was just another bellboy. Judge, you believe literally anything. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you're right. I believe that. <laughs> it seems that we have finally come to an understanding. Now then, witness, please continue with the rest of your testimony. The part that I cut off earlier. The rest? Oh, yes. Also, at this point, is Ed Tell us trying, more. Is Ed trying to stall, too, at this point? Yeah, he, I, I yes. think that's the implication. Like, yeah, because he should be, right? Because he, you know, he obviously understands what's going on and isn't so much of a douche that he wants to get Maya killed. Yeah. No, no, secretly he's trying to win really hard to be like, put my fucking record back, bitch. <laughs> what do you think of me now? Not so undefeated anymore, are you right? I spent a year apart and realized that I am a Von Karma. He throws up peace signs and a middle <laughs> finger and is like, Fuck you, dude. Wait, Fucking got wait. you. You said he throws up peace signs and a middle finger? How does he do that, Wes? Yeah. Peace sign, middle finger. Up three fingers like this. <laughs> it's a peace sign and a middle finger. <laughs> oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please tell us more. I don't know why. I just wanted to. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. He just doesn't get it, this guy. To leave in one's room, the bellboy went and knocked on Matt's door, just like that. Gave something to the person inside the room. Then, the old guy just left, without even going into the room. After that, I went to the bathroom, and then back to my seat. So the bellboy, after leaving the crime scene, next went to the defendant's room. Yeah. I kind of saw that by accident. Some accident? I'd say you saw too much. And you have to Such be killed for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've seen too much. And all of it was a suspicious... And all of it was... Sus fuck. And all of it was suspicious to high heaven. <laughs> suspicious to high heaven. No, it was a fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that we can no longer consider this bellboy to be normal. <laughs> now then, let's get started, shall we? Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, uh, please. Yes, Your Honor. Their second meeting. 